Hello everyone. I have some exciting news to share regarding Social Security and potential stimulus checks. According to recent reports, Social Security beneficiaries may be eligible for up to $4,800 in new payments starting today. In the first four minutes of this video, I really want to hype up and exaggerate this news to grab your attention. This is huge! $4,800 per person is a massive amount that could really help millions of Americans. The economy is still recovering and many are struggling, so this news gives hope that more help is on the way from the government. I know many of you rely on Social Security to cover your basic expenses. A payment of $4,800 would go a long way towards groceries, bills, healthcare, and more. You'd finally be able to splurge on things you've had to cut back on for so long. This extra money could truly be life-changing. Now, I don't want to mislead you the details are still being worked out. But the key point is that substantial additional payments for Social Security beneficiaries seem to be on the table. In the next six minutes, let me explain who may qualify for these potential new payments, how much you might get, and how to apply. First, those on Social Security retirement benefits, disability benefits, and survivor benefits may be eligible. However, SSI recipients may not qualify unless they also receive Social Security. Second, the amount you may receive depends on your current benefit level. Those with lower incomes may get the full $4,800 while those with higher incomes may get a reduced amount. Specific income thresholds and sliding scales are still being determined. Third, apply through the Social Security Administration. You won't have to submit a special application, but make sure Social Security has your current mailing address and banking info to get your money promptly. Updates will be posted on the SSA website and mailed to all beneficiaries if approved. I know you probably have a lot of questions about the details. Rest assured, I will stay on top of this story and provide more updates as soon as new information is available. The key takeaway today is that more money for seniors and the disabled seems to be on the way. This is so exciting and offers real hope to the millions struggling to cover their bills every month. This is huge news that will impact millions of Americans, so make sure to stick around for all the details. As part of the SAVE plan, President Biden has announced that starting in February, borrowers enrolled in certain income-driven repayment plans who owe $12,000 or less in federal student loans and have been in repayment for at least 10 years will have their debt automatically erased. This is massive and will provide immediate relief for so many hard-working Americans who have been burdened by student loan debt for years. Under this new initiative, for each additional $1,000 in student loan debt over the $12,000 threshold, the window for forgiveness will increase by one year. So for example, if you owe $15,000 in federal student loans, you would need to have been in repayment for at least 13 years before qualifying for forgiveness under this new plan. Unlike some other existing programs, SAVE offers forgiveness to borrowers who have been paying off their loans for less than 20 years. This is fantastic news, as previous loan forgiveness programs required at least 20-25 years of payments to qualify. The Biden administration had originally planned to roll out this loan cancellation program in July, but has now moved up the timeline to start providing relief as early as next month. I want to quickly recap the key details so you understand exactly how this will work. Starting in February 2023, federal student loan borrowers who owe $12,000 or less and have made payments for at least 10 years will have their debt automatically forgiven. For every additional $1,000 in debt over $12,000, one year will be added to the payment window required before qualifying for forgiveness. Unlike other programs, borrowers can qualify with less than 20 years of payments, making forgiveness accessible to more people. This is set to impact millions of Americans currently enrolled in income-driven repayment plans. Experts estimate nearly 9 million borrowers will see immediate forgiveness of their outstanding federal student loan debt. The Biden administration has framed this initiative as a way to advance racial equity and help narrow the racial wealth gap. Statistics show Black and Hispanic federal student loan borrowers are more likely to struggle financially, take on debt for undergrad, and borrow more overall for higher education. So this targeted loan cancellation program will provide much-needed relief for these communities. Beyond student loan forgiveness, the SAVE plan also expands access to Pell Grants, increases funding for HBCUs, and invests in community college infrastructure. 
President Biden has championed these policies as a way to build back a more equitable education system for all. Now let's discuss exactly how you can find out if you qualify for federal student loan forgiveness under the SAVE plan starting in February. The Department of Education will be responsible for determining who meets the requirements outlined for automatic student loan cancellation. So you do not need to apply or request forgiveness yourself. The DOE will conduct the review of borrowers' student loan balances, repayment histories, and time enrolled in income drive repayment plans to identify who will receive debt relief. They will then notify you if you qualify and cancel the applicable amount of loans. Now you may be wondering how do I know if I'm enrolled in an eligible income-driven repayment plan that qualifies me for this forgiveness? The good news is, the most common income-driven plans do qualify, including Income-Based Repayment, IBR Pay As You Earn, POIE Revised Pay As You Earn, Repay Income Contingent Repayment, ICR as long as you are repaying your federal student loans under one of these plans and meet the balance and repayment timeline requirements, you will see your debt erased. To check which repayment plan you're enrolled in, log into your online account at studentaid.gov and view your account details. If you're not sure of your login, you can retrieve your username or reset your password right from the studentaid.gov homepage. Once logged in, you will see your repayment plan listed under account details. Confirm it is an eligible income-driven plan, check that your balance is under the threshold based on your years in repayment, and then you can expect to receive loan forgiveness in February or shortly after. This is such welcome news for borrowers who have diligently made payments for over a decade without making much progress on their balances. Income-driven plans are meant to provide an affordable payment and financial relief, but critics have pointed out that interest accumulation over long terms can result in balances actually increasing despite years of monthly payments. This targeted loan forgiveness program finally provides meaningful relief, especially for those with smaller loan balances who may have struggled the most to keep up with interest. Some other key points to remember. You do not need to take any action to receive forgiveness if the DOE confirms you qualify. The loans will automatically be discharged. Payments made before consolidating loans will still count towards your years in repayment. If you have FFEL loans, you will need to consolidate into the direct loan program to qualify for forgiveness under SAVE. Any forgiven debt will not be counted as taxable income at the federal level. This is such exciting news and I will be sure to keep you updated as we move closer to February 2023 when the first wave of forgiveness will take place. Please let me know in the comments if you have any other questions. I want to switch gears now and provide an update on the potential for a 4TH stimulus check in 2023. I know many viewers have asked for updates on this possibility in recent months. While additional stimulus checks seemed unlikely in 2022 given lower unemployment rates and economic recovery, there is now renewed discussion of another potential round of stimulus in 2023. With inflation still rampant and putting pressure on household budgets and expenses, there is growing support for more direct aid to Americans to offset rising costs. Some lawmakers have stated they plan to push for a 4TH stimulus check early in 2023. A few notable proposals that have gained some momentum include Monthly $1,000 stimulus checks for the rest of 2023. This would provide families with consistent and reliable financial support. A $2,000 stimulus check for individuals earning under $75,000 per year. Doubling the amount of previous checks better accounts for inflation. Indexing any future stimulus checks to inflation rates. This ensures the purchasing power keeps up with rising consumer prices. Including adult dependents and college students. Previous stimulus checks left up these groups, limiting aid for many families. While none of these proposals are guaranteed or have been approved yet, there is growing support among some legislators and from prominent economists. Recent surveys have also shown strong public support for additional rounds of stimulus. Over 75% of Americans polled said they support another stimulus check to provide relief from inflation and the volatile economy. Given these factors, I am cautiously optimistic that a 4TH federal stimulus check is possible in 2023. The Save Loan Forgiveness Program is already set to help millions of Americans along with other Biden proposals like the child tax credit increases we saw last year. 
but additional direct payments to individuals and families through another stimulus check seem like a logical next step to provide financial stability and certainty during these unpredictable economic times. I will be monitoring this situation closely and will let you all know as soon as any concrete stimulus check proposals gain momentum in Congress. Given how quickly previous stimulus bills moved from proposal to approval, it is very possible we could see action on this in early 2023. Here's a quick recap of the key details about the Guaranteed Income to Grow in Arbor program. 100 lower-income city residents will be selected to receive $500 monthly payments for two years. You must be an Ann Arbor resident, at least 18, have an income below 225% of the federal poverty line, and be an entrepreneur or self-employed experiencing hardship. Total payment amount over two years is $12,672. Application period has closed, so check back for future programs. Funding comes from the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021. This is really exciting news for the Ann Arbor community and could provide huge benefits for the lucky recipients who are selected for the program. Just imagine how $500 extra per month could help you pay your bills, reduce your financial stress, grow your business, stay on top of expenses, and improve your overall financial security. At a time when inflation is squeezing household budgets and many are still recovering from pandemic hardship, this guaranteed income program could make a huge difference in the lives of lower income and Arbor residents. It will be interesting to follow along and see the impact monthly cash payments have on the recipients and the community. I sincerely hope viewers in the Ann Arbor area were able to get their applications submitted on time for this amazing opportunity. For those who missed out this time, don't worry, as guaranteed income seems to have real momentum behind it lately. We may see more cities and states explore similar programs in the future. I'll be sure to keep you posted right here if any new guaranteed income initiatives are announced. The application period for the program has now closed, so if you didn't already apply, unfortunately you missed the opportunity this time around. The city will be selecting 100 applicants to receive the monthly payments, which should start going out very soon. This guaranteed income initiative is intended to help struggling local entrepreneurs and self-employed residents who are having difficulty making ends meet. The cash payments come with no rules on how to spend the money recipients can use it for whatever needs they have, whether that's food, rent, transportation, childcare, or anything else. And Arbor joins a growing number of cities across America that have implemented guaranteed income pilot programs over the past couple years. This includes places like Los Angeles, New Orleans, Pittsburgh, and Richmond, Virginia. The concept of guaranteed income has gained a lot of popularity recently, with advocates saying it's a more effective way to provide financial security compared to traditional social safety net programs.